Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to talk about the topology of the smart bus. Hey, all of us know what is the star. If this is the star, uh, then the star, the smart bus, it can, it has different devices, like let's say this device here, or like this device here. It doesn't matter, or like this device here. So regardless, I'm gonna use uh, a square for it. So it can be different devices and all these devices can be connected to the center as an example and this is what we call it the star so this is the star topology we can go also to the other topology everybody knows the school bus for example imagine that this is the school bus so the bus usually go from one station to the next station, from one station to the next station, to one, from one station to the next station. So what we are going to do, we are going to put also the same like this one. So the bus, our bus is going to go from this device to this device or this station from this device to this device, from this device to this the device, from this device to this device, from this device to this device, from this device to this device. So this is also possible with the G4 uh, connectivity. Also, we can go to a grid system. The grid system is like the hash. If we take the hash, this is called a grid system, meaning if we take the same topology, Let's say we have these devices. Like before. Then we can easily connect them like this. And also we can connect them like this if we like. And this is the grid system. So what is nice about the smart bus is its ability to be connected at the same time as daisy chain or to be connected as star or to have the grid system this is the beauty of the bus and at the same time it can have three different topologies at the same time which we call it the mesh Thank you for your viewing.